So good. I'm Joel Myers, and this is Spidey. And he's like the brother I never wanted. I put up with Joel because he's good at magic. When you tell someone you're a magician, one of the things they're going to ask you is, can you pull a coin out of my ear? And you would think That's that... My ring. <laughs> as comfortable as most people are at walking and talking, I see that level of comfort in Joel when he's doing magic. It's just second nature to him. You put a deck of cards in his hand, magic is going to happen. Yeah. Look, over your head, watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, look, 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 he's coughing, look. Tiny one when you card, do that, right? what is this? Look at this, watch this. What is this? In his mouth. What is that? Look, did you see that? Dude, I hate it when you do that. Dude, I told you don't do that. I couldn't think of anybody better to be doing this show with. Spidey has fooled me with so many things, it blows my mind. God, that was hard to say. <laughs> In our next duo, one guy specializes in sleight of hand, the other is a mentalist. Together, they're slightly mental. Please welcome <laughs> Joel Myers and Spidey. What's up, guys? My name is Joel Myers, and tonight we are going to tell you about something called mentalism. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Spidey, and I'm a mentalist, which means I can read your mind. No, we can't. In a moment, I'm going to do something for you guys using this ordinary book. Stop. See, now, why would he say that, ordinary book? Why would anybody say that? We didn't think it was an unordinary book before, but now we do. Go ahead. And actually, to do this, I'm going to borrow Mr. Ross. So, sure. Mr. Ross, if you can make it over here, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise. Thanks for being here. Mr. Ross, I'm going to flip through the pages of this book. I want you to say the word stop whenever you like. Make sure I stop when you say. Stop. Right there, can you see the first word on that page? I can. The first word, just lock that in your mind. Boom. Here we go. Wow. What's happening right now? Why does every mentalist and magician insist on doing this weird heavy breathing as they pretend to harness their magical powers? Really, at the end of the day, at least this guy's not involving you in it. <laughs> put your hand on my forehead, put your hand on my forehead, breathe with me, breathe with me, up and down. Yes, 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 breathe. Send it to me, send it to me, send it to me, send it to me, send it to me. Good, 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 yes. Lock it in your mind, think of it, send it to me, send it to me, yes. send it to me, yes, and focus, after focus. A ridiculous amount of time and an even more ridiculous amount of horrible acting. Not you, you're good. Um, the mentalist finally reveals the chosen word. For the very first time, Mr. Ross, what was the word you were thinking? It was curiously. Curiously. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, curiously. Wow. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Ross. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yes. No. No? No. Why? Come on, man, that was ridiculous. First of all, uh, I mean, if we're really gonna impress these people, what is this book? Nobody's even heard instant intuition. Nobody's even heard of this book. If we're gonna impress these people, we gotta use a book that everybody here would know. Where are we gonna get that? Funny thing you should ask. I just happened to bring a couple of random books with me. The classics, you guys, the classics. Six random books, uh, books like The Secret Garden, Frankenstein, Dracula, like Twilight, but better. Um, <laughs> Robinson Crusoe, Treasure Island, all the good ones. Also, I think we need to have a random page number selected, a page number totally at random. We could do that, sure. Um, sir, over here in the front, if you could just stand up. You don't have to come up, just right there, it's fine. What is your name? Patrick. Patrick. Um, I guess most of those books have about 200 pages. Think of any number between 1 and 200, that's the page we'll use. Think of one. Do you have one? Yep. And in fact, um, we're going to show this to someone in a moment. We're, uh, so go ahead and write it down right there uh, in the circle. Make sure I can't see it. Just like that. And Also, I think we need to find somebody else that's totally a random, like a completely random spectator, because we don't know him. Sure. He could be anybody. <laughs> Somebody right, totally random. Right. So, Patrick, do me a favor. Rip out the post-it, make sure I still can't see it. Fold it in four. Good. And just pass it to the person behind you, the gentleman behind idea. you. Yeah. And then let's keep it moving. Keep pass it, it keep behind you. It. Left, right. Keep it keep going. Keep it going. It. Left, right, back, front, whatever. Yeah, just keep totally. It going. Make it totally like random. That. Keep yeah. it going, keep it and going. Yeah. Stop. Stop right there. What is your name? Please stand up. Sam. Sam. Sam, here's the deal. We have six books over here, six books. We want to pick a random book. We want you to pick that random book, okay? So I want you to name any number between one and six for me. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Robinson Crusoe. Cool. Now, also, Spidey, I think to make this even more impressive, I think you should write down, like, your prediction ahead of time. Yeah, I could do that. Cool. Sure. Uh, Sam, I'm going to bring this book to you. Is that cool? Yeah, that's so great. So as I'm doing this, go ahead and start unfolding that piece of paper. Make sure I don't see it, though. Look at the page number that Patrick wrote down. Okay? Sam, take the book. Thank you. I'm going to stand back so I can't see it. Sam, here's what I want you to do. I want you to uh, open up that little piece of paper with the page number on it, and then turn to that page number in the book. And as soon as you do that, let me know you've done it. I've done it. You're good? Yes, okay, cool. Sir. Spidey, you got a prediction? Uh, yeah, I do have something. I just, you know, I, uh, I feel like we should have something safe to put in, like an envelope or something. What? 
magic exists. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was awkward. Okay. Um, all right. So we're gonna open this up. See that? Like Sweet. that. Yeah, yes, and I'll seal it up. It's a peel and seal. That's. <laughs> Are you at the correct page? I am at the correct page. Do me a favor, look at that top line. First word of that line, if I did this correctly, I feel like the first word of that line is a very short word, maybe four, maybe five letters. Four letters, yes? Correct. Correct, and then there's a shorter word after that. It's the third one I'm interested in. I feel like that's a little bit longer. There's a V in that word. Yes. It starts with a V. There's a T. No T? Dude, what are you doing? If you know the word, just tell us. Why are you just fishing for letters? If you know the word, tell us what it is. I, I don't know the word. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What, then what did you write down in your prediction? You don't know? It's like a guess, kind of like a guesstimate type thing. You, you guessed? We're on national TV and you... Dude, are you serious? You guessed the word? Hold on, guys. Okay, so, Sam, the word that you're thinking of is that word... Dictionary. It is no, not. Joel, it's not Donna, you had your chance. You had your chance. Is it dictionary? Is it like pictionary? Joel, Joel, Something the word rhymes? Is, Joel, the word isn't dictionary. I was saying the word is in the dictionary. <laughs> Dude, every word is in the dictionary, genius. That's why I wrote something on the back, genius. Turn it around, look, show them, there's a number. Yeah, show, show, show. 36311, it's a code, it's a code. What is the word? Voyage. Voyage. Mr. Gillette, there's yes. a dictionary on your table next to you. There is. Can you do me the favor? It says 36311. Can you please flip the page 363? 363. 363. Um, then it says one. That means we're going to be using the first column on page 363 yeah, I of two that. columns. First line at the top. Now I hold that, that for a sec. Do not say it quite yet. I won't. You went to a random page, selected at random. It was a random book. You were selected at random, and the word was voyage. Mr. Gillette, page 363, first column, first word, please. It's a noun or a verb. It's journey by ship. Uh, the accents on the first syllable, <laughs> it's voyant. Yes, that was good. Okay. Yes! That works. Thank you so much. Joe so Mars and Spotty, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for them. Great job. Very impressive. And very funny as well. Now, you know how this works. Penn and Teller are sitting there, they're thinking about it. Teller's got his book out. They're going to be writing down their ideas to see if they know how it happened. Uh, when did you guys get together? Because you weren't always performing as a duo, were you? you, you no, we, uh, we met, you, we met like three or four years ago and literally um, just became really close friends. We have so many things in common and then at the same time, we're completely opposite and drive each other nuts in so many ways. But yeah, we, uh, we met just a few years ago. Yeah, so and you still carry on working separately as well, though, even though yeah, you've got the Yeah, we're individual performers, yeah. We do a bit of both. We wanted to tackle this together because I really um, enjoy mentalism very much, but Joel has a huge appreciation for what Penn and Teller do, and uh, he's a huge fan. And so he was able to take the mentalism effect and make it more fun and sort of be like, come on, let's, let's give them something that they're going to appreciate. Okay, it looks to me like Penn and Teller have finished their deliberations, so we'll find out what they thought and whether they know what you did. Gentlemen. Okay. Boy, we like two-person teams. And also, I love the, uh, the doing a trick and then commenting on it while you're doing it. I just love. I love that busting of psychics while you're doing an amazing psychic thing. You know, the interesting thing about, uh, uh, about the, the two of us is we have a lot of information on this because uh, I have, I happen to have a... Uh, a magnifying glass just like this at home, which is which I which I, I thought was quite a coincidence. And Teller has a pen, exactly like the pen that fellow used to write down the number, which is also a surprising coincidence. And I would have the magnifying glass and Teller would have the pen. The other thing that's odd about this trick is that you use paper books. Damnedest thing. Where was the Gutenberg Press? Gutenberg Press was the 17th century, right? Earlier, 16 seven. And yet, for all that time, you still couldn't have done this trick except for the past 10 or 15 years. And I have this magnifying glass, and Teller has the exact same pen you used. So I think you're fairly confident they know what you were doing? I think uh, a, pair of, uh, a pair of magicians just got schooled by, uh, by a more seasoned pair of magicians. <laughs> But, you know, I think you guys came here wanting to give us a good show. Didn't you? That was the main reason. Show, and you did that. It was a great show, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? They didn't fool them. But we had a great time watching you work. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Myers and Spidey. Take care, guys.